drop the beat. A A team speak. Wake up! And welcome back to another episode of Teen Speak. My name is Zach Taylor, and I'm here today once again with my good old friend. 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 Dawson Bailey. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Very well, Dawson. We're back in Ephesians chapter number five. Uh, if you would like, you can go ahead and turn in your Bibles there. Ephesians chapter number five, Dawson, whenever you're ready, we're going to read verses 12 through 14. All right. Starting by verse 12, it says, For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. It's an awesome verse. You know, it's uh, interesting uh, what he says here in verse 12. He says that it's a shame to even speak of those things which are done of them mm. in secret. And, and I think this word secret here to me uh, is really catching my attention. Uh, and it's the word that uh, describes a lot of our lifestyles. Um, we're very secretive with our lifestyles and not in a good way. Uh, like I said before, we come to school, we come to church, we come to uh, youth activities, whatever it may be. And we're these spiritual people, we're a uh, holy people, uh, but secretly uh, the things that we're doing are shameful in fact uh, he says here that the things that are done of some of these people these people of darkness uh, that paul talked about he says it's a shame to even speak of the things that they had done it's pretty uh, uh condemning there if you do ask me right right and i wonder you know uh i don't i don't know i i truthfully i try not to I try not to think too much about what happens after I die. Uh, like, not not in a bad way. Like, I know I'm going to heaven. That's not what I'm talking about. But talking about the judgment, you know, sometimes preachers will say, like, oh, well, God's going to sit there and it's going to be on a big screen TV and he's going to play your whole life in front of you uh, and you're going to, uh, everyone's going to see your life, even the things that you did in secret. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really see that in the Bible. I do agree that the Bible does say that God will bring every work into judgment, whether it be good or evil. Hmm. Um, but I do wonder when we stand before God, who is, by the way, omniscient, He knows everything. How are we going to feel about those things we did in secret? We did when we thought no one was watching, uh, but God was always watching, and He always right. saw it. Right. And the Bible says here, it's a shame to even speak of those things. And, and, you know, I talked about this uh, in the last episode. Is you're becoming a saint and you're becoming more like Christ, notice that these things have become uh, more and more uh, demanding and requiring of you. It takes sacrifice. You know, he says the things that these people are doing that are walking in darkness, it's not even, it's not even good to speak about the things that they do. It's a shame to even speak about the things that they're doing. It says, but here, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. And it talks about, once again, when you, uh, when something's wrong and it gets reproved, it's made manifest or it comes to fruition by the light. The light manifests it, right? Uh, and if you, and I mentioned this in the past episode, and I want to mention it again. Uh, if there is someone that is doing something wrong and they are a child of God, and you reprove them, and you correct them biblically and not just being mean to them but if you honestly come out of them uh, up to them out of concern uh and, and they're doing something wrong uh then it's going to be manifest made manifest by the light and god if god if the holy spirit indwells them it's going to make it known to them that hey they're right wow. that hey this is wrong it's going to be made manifest by the light it says for whatsoever doth make manifest is light you know and that's important to understand also, like, think about it. If if you try to be more like Christ, it says earlier that love people as as also as also Christ has loved you. You know, that's a high dollar form of you know love. And I think, and, and obviously, it was true love. You know, the Jesus you know risked his life. He sacrificed his life to save um, sinners. Um, that's a, uh, I think true love takes sacrifice sometimes. I, mm -hmm. I I genuinely think so. So. You know, in a case like that where you know you have a really close friend and you guys are very close, but you know that other is doing wrong and you know that you have to talk, you have to confront, you have to talk about it, 
you know, um, I, th- I think that's very, you know, powerful. Yeah. So. And listen, it, it's not, I'm not saying it's easy and I'm not saying it gets easier, no. uh, but there is ways that you can approach this. So listen, first of all, I always recommend if you are coming up to someone uh, with something that you think they are doing that's wrong in their lives or could be uh, harmful to them spiritually, first of all, I would always recommend pray about it. Mm. Pray about what you're about to say. Don't just go up to someone and say something to them without thinking about it. Don't go beat them over the head with truth uh, just because you think you should. First of all, pray about it. Uh, Ask God to give you wisdom. Uh, to give you uh, grace uh, to handle it. And and then after you've prayed about it, then uh, think about yourself. Think about your life, your sin, uh, the things that you have in your life. Because, you know, uh, the Bible says that um, how can you correct uh, the moat in a brother's eye when you have a beam in your own? So then examine yourself and remember that you're a sinner too. That you have fallen short of God's grace right. uh, and His glory, uh, so uh, remember that. So pray. Remember uh, who you are, uh, and remember that you love this person. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, you're correcting them because you love them. Um, remember that you love them, and and remember that Christ loves them and that God loves them, and He He sent His Son to die for them. Uh, so you don't want to hurt them and, and and inflict damage to where they don't want to have anything to do with God. Uh, so. And then when you go up to them, the next thing I recommend is go up to that person by themselves. Uh, don't go up to your friends about them. Don't go tell other people about the things you're concerned about. Right? Listen, uh, I'm just going to speak quite frankly. If you go up to someone and you tell them their your concerns, if you go up to someone and tell them your concerns with someone else, and that's not necessarily getting advice, that's just gossiping. Right? Uh, if you need advice, go talk to your pastor get good sound wise advice from your pastor don't go talking to other friends about this person same age as you yeah. not as experienced just like you that's not not that's yeah so pray about it uh then go up to that person go straight to that person and, and reprove that person in love that's what paul did paul didn't go talk to everybody else about peter paul went straight to peter and the bible says that he was stood him to the face because he was wrong uh so reprove Uh, A brother, and then it says here in verse 14, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Remember that Christ is the one that gives the light. Right. Right. Yeah. I think that's so... And earlier it said stuff about that, you know, like you were in darkness, but then uh, you became light in God. You know, it's not your light that you created. You know, you you have to remember that. You, You were in the darkness. You did not create that light. That was God's light that saved you. And I think that's absolutely wonderful because if it were my light, it wouldn't be that bright. Yeah, and remember, like I said just a second ago, remember that Christ is the one that gives the light. Mm-hmm. So you go to this person and you reprove them. You give them love. Uh, you show them love, the love of Christ. And, and then if they've done something wrong, you show them why it's wrong in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. The same light that saved you and brought you out of darkness is the same light that's going to help someone else that's in darkness. Right. That's good. So reprove them. With the light of God's word. And we have, uh, in the next couple weeks, we'll finish up soon. Uh, We're going to go all the way down to verse 20. uh, And and to give a little preview on the next one, one of my favorite verses is actually found in verse number 16. He says, redeeming the time. So we're going to talk about it in the later episode. But remember, uh, walk as a child of light and, and encourage others to walk as a child of light. Uh, that may have to be done by reproving someone, but love them, walk as a child of light, and help others walk in that light. Illuminate others. So episode one, what do we talk about? We talked about being a child of God. Ver- uh, episode number two, we talked about becoming a saint. The next one, we talked about being a child of light. And then this episode, we're talking about sharing that light with others. mm it's a wow. steady progression in the Christian life. So now you are not only being the light, you're illuminating. You're showing that light to everyone else. The Bible says, what man that has a candlestick covers up with a bushel, mm-hmm. right? God has lit you up. He has filled you with his light. Let it shine and pull others to that same light. Wow. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of Teen Speak. We have one last question for you guys for right. this 
uh, series, and we'll continue it in the next week uh, with uh, another series. Uh, finishing up the Ephesians chapter number five. But what's your question for these All right. four episodes? For my commenters, questions for commenters. So, as we all Marvel nerds know, WandaVision just came to a close. Okay. But a new show actually just started streaming on Disney Plus. And for my Marvel geeks, my brethren, this is Falcon and Winter Soldier. So, Coach, I will ask you and then I'll ask them, maybe at the same time because we're running out of time. Which friend was closer to Captain America, Falcon or Winter Soldier? What do you think? I would have to say Winter Soldier. Because well, he think was willing so to do the wrong thing and forsake yep. Iron Man because of it. Exactly. So, so I'll ask you guys. Uh, Iron Man was right, by the way, if you were wondering uh, yeah. my thoughts on that. So For the 50th time. You yeah. know, I don't know how clear I'll we have to, to be. say that. So, oh, so uh, who do you guys think was closer, uh, Falcon or Winter Soldier? But thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Teen Speak. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. Uh, go on iTunes and on Google Podcasts. Leave us a five-star review and leave a comment there. Other than that, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode, and we will catch you in the next one. Later, Gator.